Now, you recently um, was in Atlanta and you ran into the Water Boys. Yeah. And you feel like all the celebrities and wealthy athletes and people who were in Atlanta should have been, got them off the street. Yeah. Uh, you're talking about billions of dollars in one city, one area. Some of the richest celebrities we know in history are, are in Atlanta. And to see on all sides of Atlanta, homie, that they don't have no program for these kids. Because they ain't selling water. Let's just get that straight. They ain't selling water. Nigga, they stand out there begging. They standing out there plotting for a robbery. They standing out there plotting for a, a purse snatching. They out there waiting on a murder. And everybody's riding by. Locking their door. So now they've gotten to the point where they're starting to resent, right? We looking at it like, oh man, these little niggas is aggressive. They're aggressive to the Bentleys. They're aggressive to the Rolls Royces. Because in their mind, man, how can y'all pass by their kids so they can't process this? They just know they coming from some conditions and they buy Lennox Mall. So they in Buckhead. So they everywhere, homie. And y'all passing by Maybe handing out five dollars and it's ten of them, so they circling the car. They starting to resent y'all. Sooner or later, they gonna start robbing. They gonna start taking. Y'all ain't gonna create nothing, man. You niggas go to the strip club and throw two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in the air. Fifty thousand to take two hundred kids off the streets. $50,000 would take 200 kids off the streets and start a business. Horticulture, landscaping, pressure washing, car washing, detail, home building. Uh, man, there go your workforce right there. So I went one time, I seen it. Man, I see how the people in Rolls Royce, they might throw 20 out there and get on back, get real. And then I see how they acting. Man, the little nigga might be looking to snatch a purse. <clears throat> so we all scared of each other. So we scared of our children. Children of the corn. So I went this last time, homie, and I was with some celebrities. And, and we was by Lennox Mall. I said, golly, boy, they way out here by Lennox Mall. And man, I'm, I, I had seen where they had circled. I, I saw the car that they went viral that they circled. They all got, I saw, I was there. I saw that, right? So when I come through, man, stop in the middle of the street. Don't know, man, stop the car. Man, I let the window down. Say, nigga, y'all come real. She had come through the door. You can tell which one might rob. Here, nigga, where you potting at? Man, I'm here by myself. I don't fuck with no bunch of nigga. Here, nigga, you go file out. You get your ass. Say, where's y'all come over up? Say, nigga, matter of fact, give me, put your phone number on my number. Call me, little homie. What's your number? What's your number, homie? Man, give me your phone number. Homie, man, this fucked up. So, shit, nigga, uh, I'm going to go put together something. So, I got one I call every week. I send him some money every week. Here, man, here go, here go $100. Nigga, here go, give 50 to your mama. You went to work today? Nah, here go 100 then. Just hold off till I get there, my nigga. Get you about five or six niggas, nigga. I'm going to buy y'all some lawnmower, some weed, some trash bag, some glove. And nigga, y'all start y'all a lawn care service. Mm. And then from there, nigga, I'll show you how to get a pressure wash. Where you can start pressure washing the gum at the gas station, homie, because it's an environmental hazard. New game, my nigga. I'm going to show you some new game. Let me talk to your mama. She right here listening. Hey, mama, I'm sorry to be cussing like this, girl. But I, yeah. It's about making the connection, homie. And ain't nobody trying to connect. They pushing them little niggas off and driving by. So them little niggas resenting that shit. Just like we resented it. So we grew up beating up dope fiend, nigga. We watched our dope fiend uncles walk by us and not fuck with us, not come to the football game. So when we got older, nigga, we beat up dope fiend. We get their cars and rent them and not take them back. Ah, tie them up. Because we resented them niggas. So when we saw the dope, why you think so many niggas down dope fiend? Crack at it, crack mm -hmm. Because they resent their uncles. They resent their daddies. So don't tell me you love DMX, nigga. When I watch how y'all do the dope fiend, nigga. Because I was a nigga who resented them niggas. Them was our uncles. Them was our grandfather. Them were the niggas who abandoned us. So now what's happening now, yeah, the, the young niggas are seeing us having money. 
And we flossing on the internet. We ride by them on the car. So they growing up resenting them. Because they living, they struggling in impoverished conditions. But our rappers flossing and throwing money, making it rain, partying and, and worrying. So nigga, they growing up looking at us resenting us. So that's why they got to lock their door from them water boy, Because they know they've been ignoring them kids, homie. And them kids ready to take now. They look bigger now. And y'all been ignoring them for too long. So now they taking. So how do we do that? Nigga, we got to go back and connect with the pain. Nigga, I know you young niggas hungry. I know you need some weed. Nigga, I'm going to give you some money for some weed. I ain't like Meek Mill talking about, nah, nigga, I know this weed going to stop you from cussing your mama out. Nigga, I know you need you. I know you like weed, nigga. So I'm going to give you some weed money, some gas money, some eat money, <clears throat> nigga. We all got a vice, homie. I ain't for the, I smoke weed, nigga. I need my weed money. So, nigga, I'm going to make sure you guys, you ain't got to steal to get your weed money, nigga. You ain't got to be a dope fiend to sell weed just to support your habit, nigga. Go get your job, nigga. And put that in your budget, nigga. Since you like some, put it in your budget. Learn how to budget your money for your weed, nigga. Somebody got to teach them, homie. That's real. That's real. I can't even, I don't even got to come back for that. Like, but do you, I mean, standing on the corner, is that a form of hustling, though? Nah. It's not building character. Nah, we ain't seen now niggas stand on the corner and go nowhere, homie. And all our years of living, we ain't got one example where we seen a nigga standing on the corner went somewhere. The nigga that went to school went somewhere. The nigga that got up and went to work went somewhere. That nigga standing on the corner, they still on them corners. I can take you right down there to go see him. Hmm. Nah, homie. They standing on the corner begging. It ain't no different with the newspaper. The Muslim nigga with the bow tie talking about give me a dollar for the paper. Homie, I ain't seen none of them niggas go nowhere in life. Standing on the corners ain't sent nobody nowhere, homie. Ain't nobody sprung off the corner and dove into success. <laughs> That's real. So, nah, get them off the corners, homie, and let's get them to work. 